Hyvää huomenta. On the outskirts of Helsinki, the Raniers are getting ready for school. Urmas and Tina have four children. Three of this hungry bunch are all educated at their local state school. For the girls, it's a short walk away. Toparanimaki Comprehensive is a secondary and primary school rolled into one. The first lesson about school in Finland is relax. Take your shoes off when you arrive. And when you get into the classroom, call your teachers by their first name. This is Mariana. And because her pupils stay at the same school for so many years, she's been their teacher for most of their school life. I'm like growing up with my children, my students. And I see the problems, what they probably have when they are small, when they come to school. And now, after five years, I still know and I still see what has happened in, in their youth. What is the best things what they can do? I tell them that I'm their school mother. Le café, le café, le salon de thé, le salon de thé. Learning foreign languages here is seen as key. For these 11-year-olds, French is not their second, but their third language. And when they're 13, some will speak a fourth. But in Finland, success is not measured by winners and losers. Learning is more like a team game. The best and worst pupils in any subject are taught together. Controversial, maybe, but something they say works. It's very important to have uh, everyone in the same class, but of course that creates a problem every now and then because there, there are some that are really, really, for instance, in English, they're fluent in English, they, they, they're very good, and then there, there are some that need, need special attention, but of course we try to give that to them. Giving pupils extra help is standard practice. In this class, there are three teachers. Anna and Sunny teach a double lesson. Marvi just works with those who struggle. And it's the teachers here that would make any education secretary go green with envy. They're the key ingredient. Why, in a subject like science, the Finns score so high? Teachers all have to complete a master's degree. Trust is important here. In PE, the kids head off unaccompanied for a long cross-country ski and their effortless ease in achieving quality education is shown off by one statistic. Children here do the least number of class hours per week in the developed world and get the best results. What is the secret of Finland's education success? The head teacher gives his teachers much of the credit, but another reason is the T word again. Trust, this time, in him. Nobody outside is saying that you have, you have to do like this or like that. And, and the feeling is that they trust us. This is my school, it's not the uh, politicians' schools. In countries like the UK and the US, education is built around the idea of competition. Some schools will succeed and some won't. Incredibly though, the results at this school in Helsinki are virtually the same as any other school in Finland. And that means there's no such thing as a failing Finnish school. Finland's success has kick-started a kind of education tourism. More than 100 foreign delegations visited last year. But the woman in charge admits there's still room for improvement. The Finnish system, it supports very much those pupils who have uh, learning difficulties. But we have to pay more, more attention also for those pupils are, who are very talented. And now we have started a pilot project about it also, that how to support those pupils who, who are very gifted in some areas. We called on one of the country's biggest success stories. What do Finnish businesses want for the future? 
for the Finnish mobile phone giant, it's about maintaining high standards in the core subjects and consistency across the workforce. What we want the education system in Finland to continue doing is to keep a very good uh, level in mathematics, science and technology related subjects. Being in a classroom with less uh, talented people, it makes you uh, as a talented pupil able to teach the other ones, to work in a group with different kind of people and to accept uh, diversity. So back to the Rania's and the youngest in their family. Otto is six, and like all children in Finland, he won't start at proper school until he's seven. The thinking that by then he'll be itching to start classes, but in the meantime, it's lessons with mum at home. How was your day at school today then? I really like the textiles class. Like Tina's spaghetti bolognese, Finland's success is part homemade. It's very interesting to hear what, what they've done. They have a culture here of valuing education, and parents know they have a key role to play too. They're sort of trying, if you can say so, that they're parents, and then there are the kids, and, and then there's the school and the teachers, and, and, and to have an active dialogue. The Finnish system sort of at least try to encourage that, and I think uh, at least in, in, in our school. Explaining why the Finns score high isn't easy. Unlike other European countries, Finland has very little immigration. So when pupils start learning, language isn't a problem. But their system success is built upon the idea of less can be more. When you have relaxed schools, free from politicians, when nobody gets left behind. Tom Burridge, BBC News, in Helsinki.